morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh Baidu. Huge call on Friday. Huge call today. Day trade on Friday. Day trade today. Option trade, which was the put. Huge Baidu. Baidu. We're going to have to have a song about Baidu. Baidu so far looks here like it is the gap of the month for May. So, great calls here in Baidu. Let's take a look at what we did today. And obviously, this is setting up again, as anyone can see. No picky targets in anything, but this does look like this could go lower today. Um, 117 would be the ideal number here. 118, 117, 118.55 was a low. Anyways, right out of the gate here, boom. I mean, perfect entry, perfect entry, perfect exit. This ended up going, a hit and broke 119 in this bar. But I really think that, that anywhere you got out in this bar, this bar was a fantastic exit for this. Um, and again, when you have a move like this, you, when you're up 1R, more than 1R, just about 1R, close to 1R, a lot of money very quickly, you do have to take profits. So looked at this and it said, do, 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 do. some people got back into buy to a second trade in the morning, but I, I think if you, if you did, fine. If you did the morning stop, fine. But this actually is showing a huge amount of weakness here today, right now still here going into 11 o'clock so if you really are still in the option fine if you got out of some of the option this morning holding some fine if you got out of the whole thing in the morning fine if you want to hold this you have time um i don't think 117 is out of the you know i think 117 is going to be hit for the option trade at least but again if you get out of this in the morning fine as far as a day trade today you know this is still going so i mean you could have be you could be back in this now i feel like at this point if you wanted to do a second trade in this here, you've got the confirmation. This is falling. This has this has some big targets in it. Um, it's just a question of really if you're if you're if you don't get out of this today with the sell off that this has had as far as the option, you're really taking a chance it falls a third day down. Which by the way, it could, it could, it might. So Biden was weak. So great, great gap today. Great gap on Friday too. Huge trade, no matter how you did it. So great trade for the options letter and great trade in the day trade room. Now, how did I know Baidu was a short yesterday? Or yesterday, which was Friday, and then today, uh, I rate the gap. I rate the gap. Here this goes. This is going to break 119 and then collapse again. I rate the gap in the morning. I rate it per my 26-point rating system, and then I determine what to do. So this was a top watch today and was the top watch from Friday. So when I'm looking at something in the morning, I'm trying to determine the best thing to possibly, possibly do, whether we go long or short, but I do tend to go to the short side first. So there was a lot to watch to the short side this morning, quite a lot. Very happy here with the day, and this is looking good here. Very nice, confirmed entry in here to go back in again for the afternoon, if you're in it, if you want to be, if you have the time. And again, watch your put, if you're still in the puts, or if you get out of it this morning, that was a good exit too, okay? Hopefully everybody held the put from Friday through through today. I guess I'll find out on the emails with everybody when they email me. But so great calls. I'm, I'm just I'm just making great calls all around. Day trades in the room, options trades, everything. So just do the calls, people. Size yourself right. Make sure not to be greedy. Get out when you're up. And I'm going to carry this through into the rest of 2019 and beyond. Have a great day, everyone. Congratulations to everyone that's uh, a trader with me in the options letter or on the day trade room. Have a great day, everyone. Oh, next Golden Gap course is June 8th and 9th.